Hi. Hi guys, this is Aaron and welcome back to another video on Bluebeam Review. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about two sets, uh, two chests and the tools themselves. Right, so uh, what I have here on my screen is a customized area measurement item which uh, I'm about to save to my two chests. So there are many ways to save your two chests, the simplest being by selecting on the item itself. Under properties, you can add add to two chests. Right, and you can select which one to add it to. So what I've when when I've just added in, you will see that the icon comes up here. Okay, and you will also notice uh, for those who are new to uh, using two chests, you will realize that when I try to use, the shape comes up to be exactly the same. Right, same color, same shape, same area as well. Right, so from a measurement point of view, that's not going to be very practical because your rooms are not always going to be the same shape, same size. Right, so that's 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 not useful. Right, so um, let me explain to you. When whenever you add uh, a tool into the tool set, right, it comes default uh, as the mode what you call drawing mode. So that means this item here right now is in the drawing mode. Right, so the drawing mode will actually replicate the exact size of whatever that you just save, whatever shape as well. Right, so for it to be used uh, from a measurement perspective for different shapes and sizes, it is recommended for you to switch to properties mode. So there are two ways in which you can change to properties mode. You can either double left click on this item itself. So when I double left click, you see that it changes. Or you can just right click and click drawing mode to switch. And right click as well to switch to properties mode again. Right. Okay. So now that you have switched to uh, switch to um, properties mode, then yes, you can just use it to measure off quickly according to your shape and size from there. Right. The second thing I want to touch on this video is uh, we have already uh, uh, discovered that hey, measurements are better off done in properties mode. So what then can be used for drawing mode? Right. So I like to suggest to you for those who fill out forms very regularly. Right, uh, you have to fill in very common details like your name, your company, your address, your number, whatnot. Right, especially if uh, the person that gave you that form did not uh, put in any form fields. Right, so right now this item over here, this type written text that I have, contains my name. Right, so what you see over here, this is actually a drawing mode markup. Right, as you can see, it contains the same exact content. Alright, so if I were to switch it to a properties mode markup and I try to use it, you realize I actually had to type everything from scratch. Right, not, not very useful. Right, so this is, uh, this is what we propose. Uh, if you're using it uh, to fill up text, right, for forms, for tables and whatnot, then yes, uh, this, is where the, this is where the drawing mode will come in handy. Uh, while if you're doing more uh, flexible work like measurements, takeoffs, then yes, uh, the, the properties mode will be more helpful to you. Alright, so I hope this video has helped you out. Right, thank you.